Hi guys, I'm back at last and my voice is back and I feel completely better now so um, I'm sorry I missed last week as well. Um, I wasn't ill last week but it's just been a really stressful, upsetting week for various different reasons. Um, I'm not going to go into them because some things need to stay private. Um, Andy and I are fine, baby's fine, everything else is fine. Um, it's just been hor a horrible week. Um, couple of weeks so I've just sort of been taking a step back from everything and spending time with my family. If you're wondering where I am because of the background I'm at my mum's. Um, I'm here today just to sort of, it sounds awful but just have a day off from looking after Izzy and everything and um, my sister's going to come back from college in a bit and we're going to watch some films and just talk and spend some time together which we really both need. So I'm just going to go right into pregnancy stuff, what's happened this week and what I've been, what you've all missed out on which actually <laughs> isn't that much, I've just been pregnant so um, nothing really new has happened although saying that there are a few different symptoms now um, the one that's really bugging me is heartburn and I thought I'd, es I'd escaped it this pregnancy because with Izzy I had heartburn really badly from about 16 weeks and this has only just kicked in at 25 weeks um, but it's so bad. I don't get it in the day at all and um, I don't get it when I lie down in bed but it wakes me up in the night. It's so bad. It's so painful. It wakes me up and um, I've been sick with it and I've had to run to the toilet with it. Um, it makes me feel really ill. Um, Andy <laughs> is just the best and um, most amazing boyfriend ever and he went out and got me some Gaviston. Gaviscon really late so um that's been helping so much but um I've drank like the whole bottle already um in like a couple of weeks so I think <laughs> we're gonna have to get a bigger one I think I might go to the doctors and just get it prescribed I know I got it prescribed last time for free so um I think I'm gonna do that again because it's obviously just gonna get worse and worse and I can't I can't seem to find any triggers for it um Last time, I know that, this sounds really weird, but I know that if I ate Weetabix, um, any time of the day, I would have heartburn at night. Um, but this time, it's just, it, there's no pattern to it, I just seem to get it randomly. Some nights I get it and some nights I don't, so there's nothing I can even avoid to try and stop it. So I'm just going to have to rely on the Gaviscon, which is awesome. If you have heartburn, just buy some liquid Gaviscon, it's the best thing ever. Um, my Braxton, sorry I have a list like up here, <laughs> um, Braxton Hicks have been really intense, um, I think this is just something that comes along with your second and third or whatever pregnancies, um, I did have them a lot with Isabel, I know some ladies don't have them at all, I had them a lot but towards the end so from like 35 weeks plus um, I had a few but this time I've had them I mean, I've said a few weeks ago that they started, but they're really, really intense now. Um, they don't... I don't like to say that they hurt, because they don't really. Like, they're, they're really intense, and it's quite a strange sensation. But it's not pain, it's just... It's just strange. Um, so sometimes I find myself needing to stop what I'm doing and sort of... Not breathe through them, but just like... Wow. <laughs> um they're really weird and my stomach goes so tight and in like the strangest position it's it's really strange um obviously I still have my SPD it's not gonna go it's not like got any worse but it's still pretty bad um I haven't been to physio yet I'm trying to avoid it because I went to physio last time and it was a bit crappy to be honest um they didn't really do anything they gave me a big tubey grip and some exercises to do um, so obviously I still know those exercises so I've been doing those and um, I can't find my tubey grip but um, I know that the tubey grip they gave me was the smallest one they had and it was too big so uh, yeah I, there's not any use I think I might have thrown it away um, another new thing is something well I'm not actually I don't know what it is um, I keep getting like all of a sudden I'll be fine even if I'm like just sitting down relaxing I'll all of a sudden get like um, my heart will start throbbing in my chest and um, it feels like if you were really really nervous about something um, or even really really excited about something I suppose it's the same kind of sensation where you get like 
that horrible rush of adrenaline and butterflies and then throbbing in your throat from your heart um, and it makes me feel faint and it makes me feel sick and really kind of weak and strange um, I don't know what it is <laughs> I don't know I've asked some girls and they've said it could be high blood pressure low blood pressure not drinking enough um, not eating enough um, and I think I think I could be it could be due to the eating it's not that I don't eat enough but it's that I don't eat frequently enough I think because um, I do eat well like I eat I make sure I have three good meals a day that are all balanced and quite a big portion <laughs> so I do eat enough but I think it's the time scale that I think it's the the amount of time that I'm going in between those meals really some days I snack and some days I can go for hours and hours and I just sort of forget because I'm looking after Izzy or I'm doing housework or you know and something else always comes up when you're a mom so you sort of put yourself second or third or fourth to everyone else um, so yeah I'm gonna try I've been trying to eat more frequently and it's helped a tiny bit I'm still getting it a little bit but it could actually just be the stress I've been under um, who knows but I will go I will book a midwife appointment if it continues for say another week or if it gets any worse or if I do actually start to, like faint or something I will go and see my midwife and get everything checked to make sure everything's okay um my itching I've seemed to have got it under control I do still itch but um I've started using bio oil and you probably all know what that is it's like um i should have bought the bottle with me really it's a little bottle of orange oil and um people use it for stretch marks and but you can also use it for eczema and whatnot um i've had it for ages and i didn't really like it the first time i hated the smell and i hated the fact that um it was so oily on you just putting it onto your skin was oily and sometimes it would even mark your clothes it was so oily um but i found a kind of solution around it so when i'm in the shower in the morning I will have a wash and whatever and then I'll stand out of the water and put the oil over all the itchy bits and um, so like my stomach, my hips, um, my arms, um, everything really and I'll just rub it all in for ages and I'll really massage it in and then I stand back under the water and rinse off the excess and then I pat myself dry with a towel um, so all the oil and the moisture is still there but it's just not as oily so it's, it seems to have been working um, especially on my section scar it feels so much better and it doesn't feel as dry or just stretchy anymore <laughs> I suppose and hopefully um, not only will it help with the itching but it will help prevent stretch marks and as of yet I don't have a single stretch mark um, with Izzy I had loads so fingers crossed I just won't get any more and I've already sort of stretched previously so um, I won't get any more stretch marks um, I mean they do fade but if I'm honest it was a big confidence knock to get stretch marks and um, although other people don't notice them possibly you think that everyone is looking at them and it's it takes a while to sort of get over it and it takes a while for them to fade as well but even when they faded the skin is damaged and you can tell it's different I don't know it's just I'm sure everyone with stretch marks knows exactly what I mean I'm craving anything salty or spicy but um, yeah it's salami is the best thing in the world um, I have lost count of how many packs of salami I've eaten usually in the evening I'll just open a pack and I'll be like oh I'll have a few slices of this and then the next thing I know I've eaten like the whole pack so yeah <laughs> that's strange but it's so good um, my cravings seem to change like they seem to be they're, they're never permanent they just sort of swap and change and whatever like I mean you know that for if you've been watching me from the start you'll know that in the start I hated eggs and I loved steak and I couldn't get enough steak but now the idea of a steak doesn't really appeal to me but I'd eat boiled eggs so <laughs> things just change um, other things going on that are exciting is that we have sold the house the house is well the flat is officially sold I think I've said that already but we will be moving within four to five weeks so we're hoping it'll be four um, we're hoping for it to be like mid to end January that we'll be in the house so um, yes it's just I really hope we get in we get in sooner rather than later because obviously we're on a bit of a time limit <laughs> so <sighs> um, it's really stressful moving house is so stressful I don't really know why 
um, but I just feel like screaming at the me at the minute. Um, why is it that everything always happens at once? Like you can go through life for years or months or weeks or whatever, and everything's fine and dandy and nice, and then all of a sudden all these horrible things happen at once, and. Um, it's like people like getting you down when you're already down, they're like kicking you when you're already down. Um, but yeah, trying not to let things get to me too much. But it's kind of difficult when I've got like raging pregnancy hormones and I'm all emotional and whatnot. Um, but yeah, hopefully things will get better soon. And I'm gonna really, really, really make an effort to start getting back into YouTube and. Um, to come back to you all because I really do enjoy making um, the updates and making the vlogs. Um, it's just kind of I've been just I've just been miserable. I'm gonna be honest. I've just been miserable and I've been stressed and it was the last thing I wanted to do sit in front of a camera and moan to everyone. So <laughs> there. I just thought I'd wait until I felt a bit better. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my 25 week belly. I've brought you into my mom's kitchen. I didn't want to like, <laughs> I didn't want to stand in front of the living room window and show all my neighbours, well, all her neighbours, my belly. So, here we go. Right, so here's the top one. Do do. Uh, top up. See my eczema is like you can see where it, it irritates me, especially on the side here and on the front it seems to be quite bad at the moment. Yep. But yeah, he um he wiggles and moves loads now and I can always feel the kicks. Um, even if I'm just walking around and doing stuff I can still feel him. Whereas up until recently I had to like lie down and really concentrate. Um, and you can even, you can see like body parts going across my belly now and everything which is really cool. Um, and it's nice for all my family to be able to see that as well I suppose. Um, so yeah I feel kind of reassured about everything. If I'm worrying about him at least now I can just sort of stop and feel him moving for a bit. Um, but yeah I think that's everything so I will see you next week for week 26. Bye guys!